is double o dark 30 in the morning aka 4 39 a.m on monday april 25th um i have been afk for approximately three days because i haven't been feeling quite myself i have to be really quiet because the boyfriend's asleep but we're doing fallout this is the main storyline the memory den i heard it's really really cool so i want to share it with you guys even if no nobody shows up because everybody's asleep Anyway, I'm here with Pax and Yuri, who will probably be silent the whole time because they're shy. Isn't that right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> anyway, let the story commence. All right. Us. How much shy. of the brain do you yeah. need? Yeah, sure. <laughs> that is not an encouraging question. I suppose I'll have to make do with whatever you can find. Okay, what? If you want us to be quiet, all you have to do is ask. No, I don't want you to be quiet. I'm gonna give her. I'm gonna give this lady Amari these pieces of this guy's brain, and she's gonna tell me, um, where supposedly my my in-game son is, because that was that's basically the whole point of all this. Here's what I could find. What's this? Didn't you this see him at one point? This is. Wait, that's the hippocampus. <gasps> it's thing the hippocampus. A neural interface. Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Okay, um... So, the brain is still good, right? Possibly. I should have taken my There's helmet no off so everybody could see my awesome hairdo. So the tech is probably preserving the tissue, injecting some kind of compound to keep it stable. But there's no way to access the memories inside without a compatible port. You're talking about me, right? I'm an old synth. If the Institute built me out of similar parts, we might have an in. Yeah, there but I might could break be it. long term side effects. I don't know where to even begin with listing the risks. Don't bother. I don't need to hear them. Plug me in, Doc. Aw, Nick Valentine, you're such a you're such a badass. You really think this'll work, Nick? No idea. We got a missing kid on the line. Aww. That's worth the risk. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just Whenever you're ready, if Mr. If I start Valentine. cackling like... Cackling? Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I gotta take off my, um, my helmet. Everybody's gotta see my cool... cool like an old cool grizzled hair, mercenary, pull me out, okay? <laughs> Check it out. Oh yeah. Let's see here. And you're jealous. Okay, I'm done now. Sorry. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. That? <laughs> what are you that talking about? That's Hancock. I just it's what I was afraid of. No, I just saw the hand. Oh, it's called the. Uh, it's from Fallout Three. It's from. Uh, it's basically what you do to one of the towns. You blow it up. <laughs> you nuke the shit out of it. So that's the hairdo. <laughs> it's awesome. You see the tattoo on my face? It's, well, I got two tattoos. There's there's supposed to be five tattoos total that are just in there somewhere. But oh wait, okay. We're gonna go. There's a lock. How do you lock memories? The implant is encoding all the memories. I look like a badass, and you know it. The hippocampus. <laughs> Think of it like computer encryption, and we don't have the password. Let's it's like see. it's straight out of the 70s. One of mind wouldn't be able to crack it. Uh, oh shit, hold on. One of the words and... <laughs> <laughs> hold on a second, goddammit. Hold on, I have to fix Jay Allen's thing before I forget. Okay, um... View comments, advanced settings... Here we go. Message to spectators. There we go. All right. Okay. Resume. All right. What if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory lounger. So yeah, Run supposedly because I cheated and I watched somebody else broadcast this, I'm gonna be able to uh, walk through this dude's brain. Drives I'm pretty excited about memories it. we can find. <gasps> what will happen? Any idea of what I'm going to see in there? I have no clue. But considering you can unlock doors with it, like by poking it with sticks, like you do with evil within. Brain, I doubt no. it'll be. But I want to know why the doctor has to be like, like from India. Why does the doctor always have to be Indian? <laughs> All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there, and keep your fingers uh, crossed. Good question. 
See you on okay. the other side. Okay, Valentine. You better not get you better not get fucked up, bro. Wait, where am I supposed to sit? Oh, here. Okay, I'm sitting down. This is scary. Oh god. I'm scared. I'm scared. No. Look at Hancock just walking around. My pirate guy. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. He's my pirate the follower. You like his pirate hat? It's awesome, isn't it's it? Degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the Didn't he have like a long black? They might not be uh, stable. Just hold on. I got him in different coat. gear. <laughs> oh, and it's happening! It's happening! Uh, it's happening! It's happening! I'm excited. Turd on his shoulder. A turd. A parrot. <laughs> oh. I thought you said a turd. I'm like a turd. Ah, good. Oh, oh, the simulation oh, I'm here. appears to Dude, be working, this is creepy. Although the memories are quite fragmentary. Oh. I'll try to step you through the intact memories Dude. and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the institute's location. I'm creeped out. What the fuck? Um. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Okay. Do I? Oh, okay. Oh my god, this is free. This is freaky frightening. I wonder what happens if you fall off. I'm freaked out. Oh my god, I'm freaked out. Ah! This maybe you float. Is... Dude, this is so. Maybe you float. Remember, you guys think I should kill myself you just are to see what can happen. These memories as Kellogg. It this may prove this it can happen before first. it actually does. Nah, it's not gonna happen. Shh. I'm the I'm the greatest player alive. What are you talking about? <laughs> Except when it comes to Dark Souls. <laughs> Or puzzles. Shut up. <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. Oh, oh, here, I'm at the first memory, okay. Oh. Is there a memory below you on that green stuff? You should go check out. Aww. So, this is Kellogg as he's a child, apparently. Okay, mom. Access memory, mom. Mom knew how it was. You named your kid Kellogg. Soft, but, uh, I'm not. No, not like the dumbass. Cereal. Uh, okay, uh, let me pause and give you some backstory. You fucking yogel. Listen. <laughs> so, there was this dude that I killed named Kellogg. Okay, he was the one who was originally paid to kidnap my in-game son. So I murdered him, right? And he had this thing that was attached to his brain that gave him like superpowers. So I took this thing. Well, I I defiled his corpse. Took his took this part of his brain, the hippocampus, and now I'm at this place called the Memory Den, where people can pay to basically relive the same memory over and over again because, well, it is Fallout and this place is a fucking shithole. Got it? So that's where I'm at right now. I'm trying to go back into his memories, Kellogg's memories, this guy who I killed and murdered and yanked his hippocampus out to figure out where my 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 real life son is, but. It's also been, I mean, this is 200 years ago as well, so <laughs> 200 years I slept in the vault, waiting to be awakened. Anyway. In a way. Are you going to insert it into me. your brain so that way then you can have superpowers? No! It can, only be, it can only be inserted into another synth's brain, which is why I'm going into Nick Valentine's brain. Nick Valentine is a detective in the game who is helping me trying to find my son. Any more questions? No. Is there a prostitute in Fallout? <sighs> that cost her more than a few beatings. You always say you're gonna get it all. I never knew what happened to when her. When are we gonna see that? I already, I already I banged Kate and Piper. I'm actually Not dating that. both of them right now, but I don't think they both, I don't think they both realize it. Okay, we access. No love for Pirate Steve, dude. Oh look, there's me right there. Why do I look like mm. a what? what a joke? What's it mean? I oh, was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. All right. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. The fuck are you doing back there, dishes? Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. <laughs> No. <laughs> the fuck is that noise? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk. Thingy about Someone that they come else in. is going to keep them safe. <sighs> Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the mm. good old days. Now we have like before the big war. Strawberry milk. Don't you listen oh to that, God. Twaddle. 
I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen Apparently to me, Dad's a dick. You take this. You're old enough. Oh. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. What's up, Ashley? You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. <laughs> I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but... I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. Oh, okay. There appears to be another intact memory close to I know what emote it is, Ash, but it's okay. There. Try that one. This is so disorienting. Okay, here we go. Following the Abdullah Oblongata to the next wherever the fuck it is we're going. Oh. The thing uh, about happiness is, doesn't have anything to do with memory. That's the part of you had it. I don't care. When it's gone. <laughs> I mean, you, you may Science think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. Well, he didn't like look at his. It's jeans. only looking back Fuck. by comparison donk, donk, with donk. what comes after donk, donk. that you really understand. That's what happiness felt like. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody Only here. you would notice the ass no, of the guy that the you just killed Come on, and filed his brain. He didn't look Chance. anything like that when I killed him, though. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Well, of course, Nothing this like is that years the ago. These days. Oh shit, did I just knock something over? No, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, wait, wait I'm Sarah. Just... I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, oh, she's in the kitchen. maybe hooked up with she's someone who didn't dishes. kill people like for a living. Wife. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know, but that's where I come in. We had a kid? Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never yes. worried about you before. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? I didn't uh, know any kid. I never deserved her. Not for one second. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. He had a fucking kid and he, and he yeah, kidnapped sure my kid? The right God, how do you get from point, a, from point A to point B in this story? It's gonna be great here. See this? This is uh, what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. Maybe it was all about the cash. I uh, promise. Kids were worth money or something? I know. Well, clearly. But that's the whole thing behind I'm this. I'm sure we're going to be really Everybody happy thinks here. the Synth Institute is behind it all. We are. So. You'll see. Maybe that'll be it. I don't know. That's okay. I got uh -oh. it. Maybe one kid wasn't enough. Let's no, keep look. This I'll connect like you to the ago. next oh. intact memory. Okay, we're going to the next intact memory. Apparently. You know, I'm going to like spat out some nonsense here. It's that... fucking 4.45 in the morning. Of course there's no face cam. Um, all of the kids that he kidnapped, he brainwashed to think that they were him. So in sense, oh you didn't God. kill no. him, you killed your son. No, not even close. Oh, here we go, okay. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? Who the fuck is that? 
<laughs> you thought you could just Sorry fuck with us, and we she wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. Oh, goodness. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect it. What the fuck was that about? Okay. Apparently that memory wasn't shit. Um... Like I said, this is super disorienting. <laughs> I can't even- I can't even go into third person, it won't even let me. Mind if we sit down? Yeah, I suit agree yourself. With There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Look at that guy's mind. Sometimes just wow. roughed up, but uh, <laughs> dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they awesome. could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. Little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in What's the, the other end. picture say? That one says girls, one girl. What the other one says? <laughs> really? The other one says see our yes, after really. theater dinner menu. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. So, um, so guy is I hear you take care of people. Lucky packs. Is that right? <laughs> if you pay me. Nah, packs. Probably more original. Kind of like Tony. For someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. I got pretty good at it. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? What That's is right. that supposed to be? It almost looks like two, it, it almost looks like a pelvis. Stuff. Oh, it's two girls okay? sitting on a chair. That's the creepy. way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of That is a really really tired together. looking bartender. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek away. She's all like, yeah. We seem to be getting I used closer. To come here for the oh, girls, next and now nobody okay. wants to touch me. <laughs> no, it's okay. So they were talking about kidnapping my kids, so we're getting closer. All right. Let's go to the next one. Talking about kidnapping my kid. Getting closer to the truth. The truth. Okay. Here Mr. We are. Kellogg, <gasps> I'm glad Sims. you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kind of ran out of road. Plus, kind of lost all his hair. I come to terms with life. <laughs> I wasn't going to be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. Quickly. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. I wanna... You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. Convenient boogeyman. They were real, all right. That'd be a great PSN name. They didn't convenient know anything boogeyman. about operating on the surface. <laughs> Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Which suited me just fine. Hmm. to see for myself if you really existed. The first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, yeah, but so. I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more, and kept making them better each time. They still right, give me the creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. 
that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Oh, shit. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. Okay, are you sure you killed this guy? Because this guy seems like he's a badass. Oh, he was a badass. It took me a lot to fucking kill his ass. Connecting now. He was a dickhole. I'm telling you, he was a really big boss. It took a lot to kill him. And then I ripped out his brain. <laughs> <laughs> that was where um, I made Piper fall in love with me. Manual override initiated. Oh god, this is I fell in love with you because you ripped out his brain. Vault computers are still working. That's good. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so. This one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just find it. Pa Big heads never like taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. On C6, down the hall near the end. Big heads never like taking orders. Yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. This is the vault that I was in when they took my kid. <laughs> the fuck? This is the one. Here. Open it. Oh, there's my husband. And which means that I should be right here. Oh, look, there's me waking up. And I'm like, what the hell? Is it all almost? Right? Everything's gonna Are be fine. Are we okay? Come here. No. Come here, baby. Wait. No. I got him. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not no. giving you son! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving her alive. I understood that kind of revenge. It's me before my No one better. <laughs> <laughs> but I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if she somehow got thought out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If she could take me out, they won't be able to hide from her for long. Dun, dun, dun. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. I'm ready, let's go. Okay, so... That was the last memory now that we get to find out what happened to my kid, totally. Oh, there he is. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so... Wasn't my idea news, to settle down with the kid and the... Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. Diamond City? <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But, 
It was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Old man? Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. He must be talking about the, um, the mayor of Diamond City. Kellogg. It's okay. Oh. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Who the fuck is Oh, it's Minimizing the Terminator. My exposure it's the Black to Terminator. Civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter. Stronger and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. So Great. what's the big crisis this time? Later on. New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Terminator certainly does sound like Some a white guy. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. What? Okay. Whoa. Okay. Glitch out. Fuck. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Dude. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm ready. That was creepy. What's up, Reaper? Morning. creepy slow movements okay i don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had no one's ever done this before how do you feel uh, am i okay are you seeing anything <laughs> does my hair look all right <laughs> anything bad <laughs> don't be alarmed but i honestly don't know what to look for as I said before, this is uncharted territory, but your neural and physiological readings have returned to normal. From a medical standpoint, you're fine. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. 
This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing <laughs> sea? <laughs> did I that have a bad hair day? No. No one would risk going there. My hair is awesome. Not even to hide. Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. Navigating uh -oh. radioactive hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. That's why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. Hmm. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. Hmm. How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radax, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. Well, a sealed environment that suit would be great if you could find one. Uh, or maybe one of those suits of power sh armor? Yep. That would be perfect. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Yay, trophy. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Amari. Be careful of the radiation. The glowing sea isn't a place to be caught unprepared. Oh, I have to bring Curie to you. Oh, you're, you'll fix Curie? Oh, she'll fix Curie. All right, you guys, that's the only part that I wanted to broadcast for right now because it's like Devil of Dark 30 here, the walk through the brain. So thanks for joining me. Um, I won't do any more of the story until later on. But uh, yeah, morning, Big Papa. Sorry, I'm about to stop. <laughs> I just wanted to broadcast that one part. But, uh, love you guys long time. See you again soon. Bye!